Welcome back to the Four Wheels channel. Today, we're thrilled to share exclusive news about the highly anticipated 2025 Bugatti Turbillion Hybrid. Rumors have been swirling, and we're here to bring you the latest updates. We'll dive into the design and details later, but first, let's focus on the engine and its capabilities. This is one machine you'll want to know about in depth. Don't forget to subscribe to the Four Wheels channel for the latest in the automotive world. Bugatti has moved on from the 8.0 liter W16 engine, which has powered every model since the Veyron rebooted the brand in 2004. In its place is a Cosworth designed 8.3 liter naturally aspirated V16 that revs up to 9,000 RPM. The new Turbillion is lighter, more powerful, and significantly faster than its predecessor, boasting the coolest gauge cluster we've ever seen. Despite not going full EV, the electrical engineers at Rimac, who took over Bugatti in 2021, have created a three-motor hybrid setup that nearly doubles the horsepower and boosts overall performance. The electric-only range is 37 miles 60 kilometers. The V16 alone produces 986 horsepower, nearly matching the original W16 Veyron's 987 horsepower, but without the aid of four turbos. However, the Turbillion Hybrid system pushes this to an impressive 789 horsepower, 800 PS. According to Bugatti's official data, the Turbillion reaches 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour, in just 2 seconds, 0.4 seconds faster than the original Chiron. It achieves 186 miles per hour, 300 kilometers per hour, in under 10 seconds, the time it takes a typical small SUV to reach 60 miles per hour, making it significantly quicker than its predecessor. Bugatti produced 500 Chirons, with the last one rolling off the Molsheim line in May, nine years after its 2015 debut. However, the Turbillion will be twice as rare, with production limited to 250 units. Testing is already underway, and the first customers are expected to receive their cars in 2025 or early 2026 at the latest. Stay tuned for more updates, and don't forget to subscribe to the Four Wheels channel for all your automotive videos.